Hey guys, Corey here, BPB Restorations, and today we're going to get started on our 1964 Chevy Impala. Let's go check it out. Here it is, our uh, frame off restoration of our 64 Impala. Nothing special. Two door, hard top. Bench seat automatic. We're just going to do a frame off restoration. You can see some of the old shoddy patchwork down in there. Here's the quarters on it pretty rough. Somebody's tried to patch them up once before. Didn't do a re real good job on it. Doors look pretty solid. Fender's a little rough. Not bad, mostly stock, a few aftermarket parts. Still got the AC. For the most part, a decent car though. Solid underneath. Needs a f few patches in the floor pan and a few in the trunk pans. A lot of old shoddy body work that somebody's tried and just failed over the years. Here's another one of them floor pan patches. It's real nice quality work here. Yeah, pretty solid. Doors all shut solid. few trunk pan patches may have to throw a full trunk pan in it it's got a few goodies already uh, somebody's already done the four wheel disc brakes on it Not a bad car. As you guys can tell, it's not a bad car. Um, we're going to go ahead and take it off the frame and do it right, though. Um, make it beautiful. Um, if you would, like and subscribe and tell your friends. And follow along. I'll try to vlog the entire build right here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. Hey guys, quick update. We got uh, most of the teardown done. Um, still got the windows and trim left to do, but uh, we got the fenders off, the hood, the grill, front bumper, rear bumper, doors, uh, trunk lid, 
kind of check it out. We bagged and tagged everything. Everything is labeled to know where to put it back real easy. It's a little bit worse than we originally thought. Uh, I'll show you that a little bit in this next clip. Uh, the frame in the back is pretty, pretty gone, pretty far gone. Um, now for the most part though, it's still a, a solid car. This is, this is definitely why we recommend taking them off the frame. I'll show you the rust and everything here. For the most part, everything's self-explanatory so far. Just nuts and bolts to this point. No special tools. Alright guys, most of the surprises were found underneath and this is like I was saying why we recommend um, taking them off the frame. I mean, a lot of this stuff you don't see till the gas tanks out and everything with the frame here. As you can tell it's gone. Same on the other side. We could have just put a nice paint job on this and left this alone, but it wouldn't have lasted long. Here's some more surprises. Everything's gone. Could be worse for a nearly 60 year old vehicle. Uh. Alright guys, let's get the rest of this stuff off and get started on getting it on the rotisserie. Hey guys, we're getting ready to throw this car up on the rotisserie. And I just want to show you how a couple of poor boys lift it up. Let's get to it. All right, guys, this is how a poor boy gets it done. back lifted up a little bit got the rotisserie attached frames up bodies up four by four under the front everything's suspended now we're going to jack up the frame and lower it down and roll it on out attach the rest of the rotisserie not bad for a couple days work
quick update and show you we got the car jacked up. Got everything stripped off of it. We got um, it spun around here so we can take a look at the underside. There's a lot of rot over here, guys. This is why we recommend taking them off the frame. A lot of stuff that was missed, didn't see. Once you get the gas tank out, you can really see a lot of rot in here. We're going to try and cut this stuff out the right way, guys. We're going to do it all new metal. If you guys want to see how that's done, make sure you give us a subscribe down below and hit the notification bell right beside it so you can get the videos as soon as I post them. Thanks, guys.